Did you really push him down? Find out in this vlog. Hey, what's up everyone? This is Super Red Ploy CLA. How are you guys doing on YouTube? That's right. The Super Red Ploy coming at you live looking fresh in the flesh on an S20 stream. It is a gorgeous golden Sunday morning and a good day to get this stuff published to you guys for you guys to see because, well, if you wonder what's happening, as you can tell from the title, that's right guys. The clips I had from yesterday's event, which was Anime Con. Now, I'm looking at say Anime Con this time because I always say Pokecon because that's what I went to last year and I mean looking what does it what does it matter because Pokemon is an anime anyway and both of them are conventions and of course what can you do? So I told you guys yesterday that I might not get a chance to edit the whole entire thing yesterday because well after I got done with my reactions well after I got home from Anime Con I do the usual reactions that I do every Saturday for you guys that you guys want to watch. I did a few reaction videos and after that it was almost close to, well after I got done editing and of course publishing the videos to YouTube it got close it almost got close to the time where I live stream on Twitch which is at six something to well it was to save my Twitch schedule but anyway it was close to the time I had to live stream on Twitch and of course I couldn't get to a uh, chance to, because and after I got done with my live stream I was tired and I was exhausted because well I had a pretty exciting day yesterday. It was like a thriller like Michael Jackson say but luckily for me though, I got plenty of footage for you guys to see from Anime Con. Well, not most of the footage because, well, the thing is, I did, I made the same misfortune like I made last year when I was at Pokecon. When it comes to my camcorder, I forgot to bring my freaking charger. But, uh, I got most of the good footages in there. They had a lot of crazy stuff going on there. But the least I can do though, to extend the time on this video a little longer, is uh, tell you guys all that happened yesterday at Anime Con. It was a lot of crazy great stuff. I did a few skits, I met my friends there at the booth, and of course I had a lot of great stuff going on in there. And the rest of the details regarding yesterday's event will be unveiled after I show you this short montage. And of course I want to give a huge special thanks to Christian and Arcus for meeting up at the Anime Con yesterday. I had a very excellent thrill with you man. Thanks so much for the awesome times we had at the anime convention. <laughs> but you know what I think though? I think they should hold this stuff every Saturday for the rest of this month. A lot of people probably agree with that, I'll tell you right now. But anyway guys, um, after I show you this compilation of clips that I have from Anime Con, I'm going to give you guys more details of what happened yesterday. Because, well, I forgot to bring my charger for my camcorder yesterday. But it doesn't matter. I'll still fill you on the details after I show you this montage. So here it is, the clips from Anime Con yesterday. Take a look. What is going on everyone? This is Super Red Ploy CLA. How are you guys doing YouTube? That's right. The Super Red Ploy coming at you live looking fresh in this flesh on the Nestron stream. And I'm here at the Monroe Civic Center waiting for Anime Con to take its course. ABC Anime Fest. Get it right. Indeed. And I'm here with a special guest. This is one of my YouTube subscribers, Kristen Anarchist. I'm a YouTuber as well. Don't forget that. Yes. And by the way, if you hadn't already, please make sure you give Kristen Anarchist a sub because he's getting close to eight, I mean 1,000 subscribers. He's definitely getting close. So we're in line right now waiting for the uh, Wait, are you convention. Ready? Yes. I'm in my usual costume, something I never let go of every now and then. <laughs> because well, I love Blaze Blue, so why not? I'm a vegan, that's why you are totally organic bio fuel reactor. I'll put this on eventually. What is that? It's, I made this. Oh I my. made it for my Halloween festival. I was part of the spooky house. I see. Yeah, I punched a kid. <laughs> so we're finally inside Anime Con for the very first time. Now I'm trying to find the, whoa, what the heck? It's not something buzzing. I'm trying to find the, hi. Where's you, Kianasa? I got so close! <laughs> I 
seed elucidator. Yes, despite the fact that they're foam. Watch it. So apparently they don't have Yukiana stuff for Jen. Oh, thanks. I got it from Amazon. I'm from Blaze Blue. So as I was saying, they don't have Yukiana stuff for Jen. Pardon? Yes, I'm vlogging. I'm a YouTuber. Excuse me, sir. Hey. I'll be right back. I'm gonna go. I'll be right back. I'll be right back. Okay. Hi. Hello, Muck. Hello, Chrono. Also, Widowmaker from Overwatch, and there are many more artworks by such talented artists. Such amazing t-shirts. Hmm. Where else to look? The Chicago with the Lego. Ah. Wait, that uniform, that uniform, is that Hibiki? Is that what? Hibiki, Kohaku, Captain, um, Captain Hibiki. Sure. Oh. <laughs> I honestly just kind of threw this on for funsies. I see. Yes. How's Colonel Kagura doing? Well for now, but we shall see if that changes in the future. I see. Where is David Vincent? I can find him somewhere. The voice actor of Jin Kisaragi himself. But where is he? I found you! No, hey, I found you! Please don't freeze me. Where is David Vincent? Who? David Vincent. The voice, the voice actor of Jin. Surely you know. Is it a real candidate? We just found out about this future. Is that so? Noel. Starting to notice my attire because I recognize Blaze Blue. Indeed. <laughs> also, do you make a million dollars? It's a mystery box. What are we talking about here? Come on. Uh, this is the million dollars, and on the back it has the million dollar question. Could this be the bounty of my brother? Yeah, sure, let's go with that. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna prank these people into thinking that they got a million dollars if they tell me what Rodna is. <laughs> Excuse me, could either of you men tell me where Ragnar the Blood Edge is? I have a huge bounty on his head if you tell me the whereabouts of the Grim Reaper. He's in the 13th hierarchical city of Kabutsuchi. I believe I saw him going in that direction, but I can't be entirely positive. Do you know if he has a red attire with bleached white hair and a I huge so, yes. yeah. I see. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. I shall pay you later. All right. Not. <laughs> I admire your Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt. Hey. Say, say what? I admire your Sonic the Hedgehog t-shirt. If you like Sonic. Indeed. We just came out with Sonic Force as a reason. Dang it. Let's see. I just think I come across that here. I should 
pay millions for for the whole dozen. <laughs> that skill was totally worth it. Yeah. Now, if only I had Yuki Anasu, Jin's sword. That's the costume I'm wearing, by the way. If only they had that here, I could totally buy it. Yeah. Are you a dealer? I do play poker. Really? Yes. Are you some kind of wizard? <laughs> Because for some apparent reason, I don't know how you're doing that trick. <laughs> Not my <by> shoe. <laughs> what is where I meet for the very first time the Sombra cosplayer because I love technology <laughs> no way she's actually commencing the analysis on me Okay guys, I'm going to be straight honest with you guys, this is actually my first time going to an actual anime concert, even though I went to Pokecon last year, because it was pertaining to Poke Pokemon, and of course, well, Pokemon is indeed an anime, so what can you do, like I said, but anyway, it's my first time going to anime con, it was a very excellent trip there, we had a lot of stuff going on, I always tell people that I cannot get over the Jin Kisaragi costume that I got from Amazon, because it looks freaking amazing how they had it crafted, the people who made the costume all together and stuff, and usually you guys might think that it's recommended to build a costume, like hand made it, have hand make it yourself and stuff like that, which I'm not really into, um, I mean, I, even though I took sewing class years back when I was in high school, and I still sew sometimes, like, do by needle and thread, not the sewing machine, because, well, it's been like a long time since I used a sewing machine, I've been sticking to hand sewing and it's pretty fundamental. So at the anime convention, I got in people who were pretty overwhelmed with the costume that I had. It was just like the same reaction that they had when they saw me at the Halloween festival in my college. And they are pretty overwhelmed and most of them actually know the Blaze Blue series themselves. And after Chris and Arcus showed me a short clip footage of meeting David Benson at one convention that he went to, I was freaking thrilled. He showed me that on Twitter, by the way. And I was hoping to find him somewhere around the convention. I was thinking that he might be here so I can show my costume. Well, maybe if I wore the Jinkies to a costume, he might recognize the costume and of course come on up to me and say, hey, nice to meet you. So you're cosplaying as Jinkies of Ragi. <laughs> and most of the people around there, here's the crazy thing about it. Most people around there at the convention 
I looked around to see if that was David Vincent. I was like, David Vincent, is that you? And he was like, no sir, you had the wrong person. So then this guy went ahead and looked up David Vincent and he somewhat looks like him somehow. And I was like laughing so hard after I looked up the images and I was, I, I thought for a fact that was him because, well, I love using Jin Kisaragi. I love how David Vincent voice actors Jin Kisaragi from Blaze Blue. And it was like, oh my God. I, I thought I was lucky at that time, but it didn't matter. He still loved my costume anyways. They also had some so many shopping booths, like shopping for snacks, posters, and of course sword. They had a lot of crazy looking swords there. They got swords from Attack on Titan, The Legend of Zelda. They have Genji sword from Overwatch. They also have Excalibur from Fate Zero. They had a lot of crazy swords there, and I was almost on the verge of getting one. They were tempting me to get one, even though I have one down there that's that's from Blue Exorcist. That's the sword I got from Amazon years back when I was getting into cosplaying. I chose Jin Kizuragi's costume as my first costume, and of course I got the blade for it, even though I had, even though Yuki Yamsa matches the costume that I'm wearing, which didn't matter because, well, the katana itself is blue. And so is my costume. And Jenkins Ragged Sword is blue as well because, well, you already know Yukiana, so that's his knock the Taurus. Mood Crew, I guess, go Yukiana, so he needs to describe the whole entire weapon name that he had within him. But anyway, uh, I had that instead. It still counts as, it's still a good sword, even though I'm wearing Jenkins Ragged's costume. Now, if they did have Yukiana, so though, I would definitely go for it. Like, I told some people that if they, if they had Yukiana, so there, I'd pay like hundreds of bucks for it. <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. <laughs> Although I did see Soldier 76's rifle there, along with the weapon shop, well, the foam weapon shop. Well, most of the swords are foam, and of course, some of them are actually real blades, which I didn't need because, well, I already got a sword already, so I'm still good. <laughs> I didn't need Soldier 76's actual rifle because I already got the golden version down here, and it's still freaking awesome. I just couldn't let go of holding on to the thing ever since I got it. And let me guys tell you something right here. The two cosplayers of Overwatch, Diva and Sombra, they're freaking adorable and they're freaking amazing. I'm so glad I got to meet them. They're so, oh my god, I'll never forget them. We actually did a lot of crazy uh, stuff together. Well, not crazy per se, but this one skit that me and Sombra did, the Sombra cosplayer, uh, I was Jin Kisaragi and she was Sombra, and I was pretending as if I recognized her. I was like, you, 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 and then she analyzed me and she confirmed my identity. Identity and it was like she knew my identity, so <laughs> it was crazy right there. But that was that was scripted though, because well, I wanted to do a little skit for my uh, channel for you guys to see. And of course, I also took some pictures with Diva. Man, she looks freaking adorable, the same way as Sombra. And she also, and Sombra cosplayer also cosplays as Dizzy from Guilty Gear, which is freaking amazing. Because well, I love Guilty Gear and I love Dizzy as well. I also saw Yuno Gasai. I forgot what anime she came from though. I also met the voice actor from Dragon Ball, the old guy. I forgot what his name it was, but Christian and Arcus met him first. And of course, I came to him. And I also voiced as King Kai, where he fed Goku tons of food and stuff. And he was like, oh my god, that definitely sounds like him. Well, I guess. I can cook, but you're gonna have to do the dishes. And I also met with the anime club of Delta. And we also, we also had pictures taken. And of course, we took some very crazy pictures. I also met the Skeleton Brothers from Undertale. I met Sans, Gaster Sans, and this other one, I forget what the name was, I definitely forgot, but there were three of them so far. I asked Sans cosplayer where is Papyrus, and he said he didn't want to talk about it, which was pretty funny by the way. But let me tell you guys this though, these cosplayers of the Skeleton Brothers from Undertale, they totally love my music because I let them listen to the music that I had on my phone that I've been making with FL Studio. That's what I use for my videos and it was just amazing how they actually admire my music because I spend like hours, even they say themselves that it's time consuming to make music sound a lot nostalgic and of course, epic. Epic. And speaking of epic, I told the Overwatch cosplayers that I would never stop playing Overwatch because I love playing the game. Oh my god, my main is Soldier 76, that's what I told them and I also told them about the rifle that I got from eBay, cost like hundreds of bucks. Well, not basically hundreds, but just a hundred in general, but they were like, wow. So after that, I, looked, I walked around the whole entire convention. Man, I think to myself, I really wish I could spend a night here because I love going to stuff like this, even though it's just the first time, though. <laughs> so me and my subscriber, Christian and Rankis, were outside. We were doing a few skits. They were pretty funny, too. And they're probably on his channel, too, because he told me about his montage that he made for the anime convention. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to Christian and Rankis. Shout out to you for the excellent skits. They were pretty funny. Man, man, man. <laughs> I couldn't let go of watching them. Even the one that I recorded on my phone. 
when I asked one person to uh, film the whole entire setup for us, and of course, so we can put it on our videos and stuff. But like I said, guys, make sure you subscribe to Christian Anarchist. The link to this channel is in the description below. I'm also going to add it in the usual areas. And it was freaking funny how Jane keeps writing, I was cosplaying as Jane keeps writing, meeting certain characters from different realms, such as Minnie Mouse from the Mickey series. I also met uh, Sans from Undertale. I also met Kitana and Sub Zero. I met so many characters that I know prior to when Blaze Blue came to me. But man, it was insane how I uh, actually uh, enjoyed the whole entire convention altogether. But wait, there's more. I was at the sword shopping booth and I saw these awesome Japanese people. I spoke very excellent Japanese to them when I was looking at what they were doing at the booth. They had a lot of stuff going on. They had melon pan, they had Pocky, they had a lot of great oisy stuff in there. <laughs> they had a lot of awesome stuff there. I, I even told them that myself that I really wish that I was traveling to Japan right now because I love Japan so much. I love the French that they have there. I love how they, uh, actually handcrafted everything from different animes and of course video game series i freaking just love how they do their stuff i really do also had a tv screen where they're showing uh k-pop j-pop they had a lot of stuff going on and as soon as i heard bts dope i stepped in i had my stuff done i was tired of the black portion the black belt portion of the costume that i had on i was tired of it almost slipping off my waist so i took it off and of course i laid it on the uh table not that my pants fell down or anything, the, the uniform's still fine, it was still intact. So I put it down because I was tired of it falling out my uh, waist and of course I started dancing to BTS dub. A lot of people were shocked how I actually danced like how they dance because I told them that I knew this song too well. I even did that for 2,000 subscribers doing BTS dub. It was a very excellent time because I knew the song and I just couldn't help myself but to dance to it. And then probably if I were to do like a try not to dance challenge, I'd probably lose because I love BTS. So what can you do? Next, I saw the video game table where they had old video game cartridges. Those sons of guns are freaking expensive, though, needless to say. And as soon as I first saw the table with the video game cartridges, I was like, holy shrimp. And the lady said, with cocktail sauce? <laughs> it was crazy. It's the only thing I say when it comes to my reactions because, heck, it's better than saying the other thing that people say when it comes to overwhelming stuff that they see in front of them and stuff like that. I also saw these glowing charm necklaces like the moon, the potion from the Legend of Zelda series, the heart necklaces. I saw a lot of stuff. I was almost tempted to get one. I was almost tempted to get the glowing blue moon charm necklace because it looked freaking insane and it would go good with my costume though because well I love the moon so yeah. And next I got this. It, this was free. They had the GameStop booth going on and of course they were giving out these free posters and this is the one I got. Hold on one second. This is the song I'm looking at. There it is guys. Hatsune Miku Project Diva X. This is an old poster by the way because well this is this was in 2016 and that's when well close to her birthday and I got this poster for free. I freaking love this poster. I didn't put it up on my wall yet. I'm still waiting, debating on what should I do with it. I'm still gonna put it up somehow, but anyway. And speaking of Hatsune Miku, I wanna give a huge shout out and congratulations to all my YouTube collaborators named MikuFan3000 for reaching 7,000 subscribers. He's about 3,000 subscribers away from 10,000 and I'm hoping that he gets there. So uh, this is for you, man. Thanks so much for being part of YouTube and of course being an awesome collaborator to most people. You really are a very excellent YouTube buddy. Like we, like you said before, we're YouTube buddies and we collaborate with each other, we help out each other, we grow strong every step of the way. It was just amazing. I also got tons of pictures taken. They freaking admired my costume. They really did. Jin Kisaragi means certain characters from different realms like Project Diva. And speaking of which, what's even more cool about is that I met this most adorable Miku, I mean Hatsune Miku cosplayer. She was so cute, man. I really love how she cosplayed Miku Hatsune. It doesn't matter. Miku Hatsune, Hatsune Miku. It's, she's still Hatsune Miku to the fullest because I love her that way. So anyway, I saw this adorable Hatsune Miku cosplayer. I love how she cosplay her. She's definitely the most gorgeous Hatsune Miku cosplayer I've ever witnessed at an anime con for the first time. And we got our pictures taken. Not to mention, I did see a lot of Kirito cosplayers there because they were really into Sword Art Online. Not to mention the Elucidator, those awesome looking swords right there. Man. Needless to say though, I did see Jin Kizuragi go against 
Kirito and Mugen, and it was pretty insane matches going on. Now, there were certain cosplayers whom I thought were from Blades Blue, like, say for instance, Captain Hibiki Gohaku, the captain of the Novus Orbital Librarium in the branch in Ikaruga. And I asked him, how's uh, Kagarabutsuki doing? And he said he's doing well. <laughs> oh my god, that was... That was insane right there. And lastly, prior to my departure of the most excellent convention I ever went to for the very first time, I saw the Super Smash Bros. 4 tournament on the Wii U. These two characters were going against each other, Pac-Man versus Lucas. Man, Pac-Man totally knocked out Lucas when I first witnessed the tournament that was going on. I was like talking out loud, I was like commenting, I was like being a referee of the whole entire matches that were going on. But it was only that one match though, cause man, I was freaking overwhelmed that I actually saw a gaming tournament for the very first time. So anyway guys, in short, that was the convention. Man, I really want to go there again one day. Man, first time to try when, this, when it comes to this kind of convention that I went to yesterday. Oh my god, man. It'd be crazy if I appear on the news a second time. I know I did one time last year during Pokecon, so technically the news crew didn't appear yesterday because well I don't know what happened but it doesn't matter. But like I said though they should hold conventions like these until the rest until this whole entire month is already concluded. So man if that were to happen right now I would have gone back there and of course buy some buy a few things and stuff because I love what they had in there. I would have gotten a chance to buy it but you know. So regardless guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it to the fullest. I hope you guys enjoyed the montage I had during Anime Con. Once again, make sure to subscribe to Christian Anarchist. He has his montage on there as well. And I might react to it after I get done with this video. That was a request that he wanted me to do. So I'll be doing that after I get done uploading this vlog. So if you guys like this vlog otherwise, make sure to make sure you hit the thumbs up button because it really keeps me going. Subscribe to Christian Anarchist and MikuFan3000 for being awesome collaborators on my YouTube channel. They're very amazing. Please make sure you get them to the same well, even though Mika Fan 3000 is up ahead of me, but make sure you get Christian Records to 1,000 subscribers. He's getting 1,000 subscribers very soon. I cannot wait for him to get to that number. And another thing, I know we were supposed to do a challenge video, but evidently they had a lot of stuff going on. So I'm still going to do a challenge video when I reach 7,000 subscribers. And hopefully in the near future, me and Christian Records will do a challenge together and of course we'll collaborate with each other and stuff like that. That would be a total throw because, well, it would have been a good time yesterday to do a challenge video there if I hadn't left my charger, that is, that's, that's one thing. The second thing, they had a lot of stuff going on there and of course, I didn't want to, uh, people to like, well, I don't know, it doesn't matter what happened, but anyway, I'll still do a challenge video when I reach 7,000 subscribers, so I do apologize for breaking the promise for this one because, well, I thought for a fact yesterday was, would have been as good a time as any to do a challenge video with me and Christian and Arcus in there, make the whole entire thing go. Woo! Anyway guys, if you guys are new to the channel otherwise, make sure to subscribe for more content, make sure to follow my social media, also join me on Twitch while I live stream on Fridays, Saturdays, and of course on the holidays. If you want to join my community, links in the description below, and don't forget to share because we're here. Also, regarding my Twitch channel, if you're wondering where I'm live streaming, that's where I'm live streaming from now on because, well, if you hadn't already heard already that I won't be live streaming on YouTube anymore because, well, live streaming on Twitch is my thing now because I'm trying to go for affiliation. We're on the road to affiliation and of course uh, I've been working hard since September doing a whole month's worth of streaming and stuff like that but it'd be great if you guys can show up to my uh, live streams on Twitch almost every day and stuff like that if I'm not too busy. Well I do live stream on school days well when I come home. I live stream at night time sometimes and of course I live stream in the afternoon during weekdays and of course I also live stream on the weekends and stuff but I'll still be live streaming for you guys no matter what but It'd be great if you guys could attend my live streams almost every day because, well, I do a lot of crazy streams on there. I do like CSGO streaming, I do retro gaming, I do PC gaming, I do a lot of Steam games even though I hadn't been doing a lot of them frequently. Although I did Blaze Blue, but uh, I still do play more. I just need to get some more Steam funds for the next one that's coming out next year. So hopefully um, I'll get that knocked out. So there more come soon. This is Super Rock Plus CLD. Love you guys to the fools, and as always, I'll see you reploids in the next video. And also, special thanks to Christian Anarchist and Miku Fan 3000. Bye, guys. If you haven't already, please make sure to click the bell symbol located by the subscriber count. Just one click away, and boom. <laughs> oh my God, that's hilarious. Yup, I was fine. <laughs> Hi there Reploids, this is Super Reploids CLD, wanted to take the time to say thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, and if you want more content, please subscribe. 
Don't forget to follow my social media for more updates. And in case you missed it, please check out my previous video or any video displayed, and please give tons of love and support. I look forward to seeing you at the Utopia, my dear Reploids.